Yeah. Jump in, jump in, jump in. Them boys up to something. Please be advised of the disclaimers. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pinnacle Trading here. Today we're going to take a look at how to retire with millions of dollars and starting at an early age and how you can progress your money, keep growing it, compound interest, and keep growing it for retirement. How, how we can actually retire early than the actual age of 65. We can retire by 50, 40. I'm going to show you how to do that today. So before we get into that, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell button next to it to stay notified on all of my future videos. So let's go ahead and jump into this quick. So let's go ahead and look at the S&P 500. Uh, looking at the max chart on this, you can see uh, great growth on the max chart. You can see steadily growing up, going up. We have seen some corrections here and there, and you see some corrections there. And, but we see a steady growth in the market. So that's American economy. S&P 500 covers more than 80% of those stocks, holdings uh, in U.S. economy, U.S. stock market. So that's a great one to invest in. The little brother of the S&P 500 uh, growth one is SPYG. This is actually a lot cheaper than the S&P 500. S&P 500, SPY right now is at about 275. SPYG is only about 35, $36 per share. So let's go ahead and look at the return rate on each one. So the first one, let's go ahead and look at S&P 500. This is SPY. So you can see that recently we had big bull market. So markets have been going up. Uh, we had a new president and uh, markets have been growing very fast recently. Uh, but we recently had the market crash starting in February 2018. So markets have still been recovering from that, been jumping up and down. So that's important. And as you go out and look at the yearly, so yearly is 14.28% here. Uh, but if you look at the 10 year, that's 10.06%. So expect about 10% return, return annually on your interest, on your compound interest. That's a return rate. So 10% return rate. So it's really important to zoom out and look at the 10 year, look at it overall picture to get an example of what your average can be. So let's go ahead and jump into the compound interest calculator. This is investor.gov. I'll leave a link in this in the description so you guys can mess around with these information. So we're going to take an initial investment. Say you're age of 25 and you want to retire by 65. We're going to see how we can have millions by the time you can retire and use that to keep growing, uh, expand by real estate, uh, by uh, invest in more companies, uh, invest more in the stock market, trade, you know, invest in you know, anything else that you'd like to do with the money or, you know, even spend it relaxed, go on vacations. So let's go ahead and take a look at the initial investment. It'll be $5,000. That's just an example by 20, age 25. Uh, shouldn't be hard to have 5,000 as an initial investment. So I'm taking the average rate right there. And uh, let's say contribution of $250 per month. So that comes out to about two, 3,000, about 2,500 uh, per year in contribution. So that's not a big amount, just $250 per month. And length of time in years that you plan to save, let's go ahead from, so from 25 to 65, that's 40 years. So you plan to save for 40 years. That's that step right there. Next is the interest rate. So that's what we looked at right here, 10.06%. So we're going to say 10%. Usually S&P 500 is about 10, 8 to 12% average of 10%. That's what people say. So let's go with 10% to be safe and going to compound it annually and then click calculate button right here. And then you can see, I'm going to zoom out a little. You can look at the chart. So results in 40 years, your money will be growing to 1.5 million. Of course, in 40 years, the inflation is taken into account. And also you can see, um, you know, when you tax it, uh, when you withdraw the money, it gets taxed. But the point is to keep that money growing and keep this going for yearly income. So you'll have about $1.5 million. So that could be a little less, a little more uh, based on how the market's return rate. So you can see uh, year zero, we're starting with just 5,000 right here. So within 10 years, uh, you'll be putting in 35,000 of your own money and it'll be 60,000 with the compound interest. Say you go all the way down to 30 years, we're going to be at you're going to be putting in 95,000 of your own money but your money will be growing to 580,000 and by year 40 by the time you retire at 65 the money that you put in will be 125,000 but your total money will be 1.5 million a little bit more than 1.5 million so 
amount you put in, it grows exponentially after about 10, 15 years, and you see growing, growing, growing. And that's exactly what Warren Buffett does with his money. So at age 14, he started investing. So the sooner you start investing, uh, sooner uh, you start seeing the exponential growth and the bigger returns you get by the time uh, you retire or the by the time you stop uh, investing money, but you let it keep growing. So we're going to take a look at how much difference it can make within just five years if you start investing sooner. So he started at age 14 with 5,000. So this was a long time ago. And by age 30, that grew to 1 million. Of course, he had a lot of businesses and such, but you can see his investment money has grown uh, by age 50, 376 million. And by the time he's age 83, 80, 58 billion. So you can see that exponential growth in 20, 30 years, you can see it grow drastically over there. So let's go ahead and look at the SPYG that we're talking about. So SPYGs actually did a little better uh, return rate 10 year, 11.62%. So it's, uh, there's a lot of funds like these. There's a Vanguard, there's a high shares, there's BlackRock, many ETFs, many funds you can, many stocks you can invest in to get these return rates. Some are good, uh, some are bad, some are a lot greater than 10%. They can be 20, 30, 40, 50%. They can be 5%, 10%. So it's really important to pick your funds. And uh, usually I like S&P 500 and have a few other uh, ETFs and stocks that I've shown in my other videos if you'd like to check out my channel. But you can see, so let's say uh, right now it's 40 years, so it's 1.5 million. Say you started investing earlier, say you started investing in at when you're 20, so that'll be 45 years, uh, 20 plus 45 is 65. So say you started investing just five years earlier, uh, let's see how much it'll grow. It'll be 2.5 million. That's guys, in five years. That's 1 million more in just five years. So if you started investing just five years earlier, then you, that'd be 1 million more by the time you retire. Say uh, you invest at 22, so that'd be 43 years. Say three years sooner, that'd be 2 million. That's almost half a million more. So you see how important it is to start investing as soon as you can. It's really important to see the graph right here. Uh, you can see the exponential growth. So important to start investing as soon as you can. It's never too late to start investing. So guys, if this, make, if this helped you out, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell button next to it to stay notified. And also make sure to support Pinnacle Trading on our social media. I uh, hope this helped you guys out. Uh, so it's, just want to emphasize the importance of investing. Start as soon as you can, whether it's $50 a month, $100 a, a month, thousand dollars a month it's really important to save money uh, make more and keep investing as you go on all right guys hope this helped you out make sure to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in my next video